Kimbo, you don't do very much fearing of men, right? There aren't very many situations that you find yourself in when you're, where you're fearing another human being. You know what, Dan, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. That's one thing I could honestly say, you know what I'm saying, that I do not have a fear of, and that's of another man. You know what I'm saying? Because we're both men, you know, and um, I have no reason to fear another man. He ate my situations, you know what I'm saying? I'm the, the, the start and the finish of any situation dealing with myself. You know what I'm saying? So to fear another man to me is the will be the weakest in the world. You feel me? You know, and um, just you know, with that in mind, to to know I'm getting in, to, to know I'm getting ready for a fight. I mean, that's one thing I, I would never it would never really even you know come across my mind is the fear of this guy or his skills or his ability. You know, the way it would come off to other people. Oh, he's he's this and he's that. I don't give a damn what he is. He got to get in there with me and we got to do this here, you know, so, I mean, it's just the only thing that can happen is that I knock him out or he knock me out. Or I break something on him or he breaks something on me, the heel back, start from scratch, and we go again. Greatness is a feat chased by many, but achieved by few in the UFC. To get there, it takes more than talent and skill. To be great, it also takes heart determination, the willingness to fight the best, and the ability to beat them. He's a legend, a big, big staple in the sport and a pioneer in MMA. Over the course of his UFC career, this fighter has done that and more, taking the sport to a new level in the process. He's been a world champion in multiple weight classes. He's made a ton of money and he's achieved everything he'd ever wanted. There is no question that he is the greatest of all time. of the world between Kimbo Slice and Curtis Razor Blades. Representing Team Elevation there, Colorado, here is the Chicago. 
Chicago native Curtis Razor Blades back in 2012 won a JUCO national championship as a wrestler, as a heavyweight, and largely has had a lot of success in mixed martial arts thus far, has a nice kicking game, but very relentless when it comes to his takedowns, and that figures to be the path of least resistance in this matchup here tonight. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. The champion is in focus. He is in his prime. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 33 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, presenting the challenger, Curtis Razor. This man is a buff, holding a professional record of 28 wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will human fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, what a championship outing it was for him the last time around. A win by knockout. And that was... Oh! He tagged him in the left. for the taking. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here moving forward. Blades, his leg appears to be hurt here, Joe. You can visibly see him starting to limp. 
Right hand forward now to the southpaw. Wage gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Big punch. Good shots by the champion. How about that shin? Three minutes now to go. Oh! Knee to the body. Oh! Oh! He's out! Huge flying knee for the KO. Yeah, Joe, another one for the highlight reel here. And when it comes to the knee strikes, you don't necessarily need to put a lot of mustard on it to get the desired result. Oftentimes, it's about the location and the accuracy of the strike. He got the knee up to the target. He did flee, and that spelled the end of the night for his opponent. Let's see if we can get a better look at it from a different angle. Watch this again here. Bang. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop for this contest. About two minutes, seven seconds of the very first round. Going to win by knockout. with the moniker of baddest man on the planet and that is exactly the way he goes out congratulations to the undisputed ufc heavyweight champion of the world your winner tonight by way of the ko and that's a big man celebrating with his team right now enjoy it boys you maximize the moment tonight Finally making this walk and 
cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Stefan Struve is a towering, almost seven foot tall monster with great striking and beautiful submission technique. He uses his height well on the feet and on the ground, and when he wraps one of those long arms around your neck, it's like a python. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, taking on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? The champion is in focus. He is in his prime. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely stellar. He believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. To get us with the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Mario Yamasaki. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship the world is who this is first fighting out of the blue corner this man is a muay thai kickboxer holding a professional record of 47 wins 26 losses standing seven feet tall weighing in at 265 pounds on the other beaver with the netherlands presenting the challenger stefan skyscraper And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Championship out. I want you guys to do a clean fight. Follow my orders at all times. Defend for all times. Good luck tonight. Touch gloves. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in because it's about to go down right now. Well, this is a venue that has hosted so many big UFC fights over the last several years, and we are underway at Juness Arena right here in Rio de Janeiro. So here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC champion, and what a fight it was for him. His title. Big left hand! He's got it right here. Back up to his feet. Oh, look at this! Who saw that coming?
just over two minutes to go. Wow. Oh! Nasty combinations here. Oh! oh! Huge leg kick. Back to his feet again. Amazing. Wow, he is throwing some huge kicks here. There's a nice inside leg kick. Back and forth we go. Oh! Oh! Big body shot. shot body. He's in trouble right now. Trying to stay in this fight. Oh, vicious knee to the body. He is in big trouble here. He's wincing in pain. Body kick, look at that. Well, oh! Big straight punch. He's only got 60 seconds with which to recover. Not a lot of time to get his head back into this one. And here a big shot lands and a knockdown. And here another big shot lands and another knockdown. And here another clean shot lands and another knockdown. Several near fight ending moments in that round. Lots of action. Second round, ready. Ready. Second round here. That last round was an all out brawl. If it continues. Wow! wow! He's got to be careful here. He's clearly in trouble. Oh, vicious knee to the body. This fighter has really honed his striking skills at Blackburn Kickboxing there in the UK, and if the open workout is any indication, he is already a different fighter than we saw several months ago. Oh! 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 He's out! Tremendous hook, landed flush for the victory. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. And here we see the spectacular bomb that he landed to retain his world title. The speed and power is something to behold. And as it lands, immediately his opponent goes limp. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UE heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop for this contest at one minute, two seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight So the celebration is on and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can still argue that tonight is the crowning achievement of his mixed martial arts career, knocks out the number one contender with style points to retain his heavyweight title. Congratulations to champion coach Team Flea on the big result here tonight.
championship fight between Kimbo Slice and Francis Ngannou. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. As he makes his way towards this cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of this cage tonight as the new champion. way to the octagon for another heavyweight title defense this has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years and he has taken on all comers more often than leaving them twitching on the canvas knockout power for days the question is tonight with a challenge like this can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. The champion is in focus. He is in his prime. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Four years apart, with similar height and differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon of Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Saitama Super Arena in Tokyo. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Champion of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 39 wins, 13 losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, presenting the challenger, Francis the Predator. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 30 wins, no losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Kimbo Slice! All right, this is for the champ. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in because it's about to go Ready. down right Good. now. All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight Whoa! title is on the line. Oh, big left. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Whoa! The kick! Big body shot. Oh. oh! He tagged him. This could be it. He hurt him with that hook. Who saw that coming? Oh. How 
about that shin. Looking to avoid that left hand. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab. He's in big, big trouble here. Predator gets up again here, Joe. He is as tough as anybody on the roster, but he looks compromised here. Oh! The left hook hits home. Vicious combinations. That right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Let's see it again. Tremendous force. And that's a wrap. Great angle here. Boom. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC weight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, 59 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC Well, he came in with the moniker of baddest man on the planet, and that is exactly the way he goes out. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner tonight by way of the KO. And that's a big man celebrating with his team right now. Enjoy it, boys. You maximize the moment tonight. Kimbo Slice and the Reed, Alistair Overeem. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Alistair Overeem, the former Strike Force heavyweight champion, the former Dream heavyweight champion, and the former K1 heavyweight Grand Prix champion, is one of the most decorated fighters in the history of mixed martial arts. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? The champion is in focus. He is in his prime. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. Our tail 
battle of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Overeem is three years his senior. He weighed in at 265 pounds. He will have a three inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 80 wins, 32 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands, presenting the challenger, Alistair. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 31 wins, no losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, King. This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fight. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. Okay, you ready? You ready? All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title on the line. This should be good. All right, so here... Oh, he tagged him. He tagged him with the right hand. He's doing a really good job of timing his shots and landing a good series of strikes here. Just missed with the leg kick. Good maneuvers here to avoid clinching. Kimbo Slice gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, Joe. Oh, that leg kick landed there by Overy. Blocks the shot. Good shot. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with Good right hand on the top of his head. He's hurt. He's hurt. He is clearly in big, big trouble here. Vicious combinations. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Big shot. Oh. Nice leg kick. He's got him right here. Oh. Oh, he's landed some good shots oh. here. Oh, big left hand. gets up and decides to take this fight back to its feet despite having a seemingly dominant position oh, on the ground. Oh. 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 Oh, 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 man. Like it did he a little bit. Haymaker. Oh, big knee. Knee to the liver. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. for the victory. Yeah, Joe, a pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Let's see it one more time. Look at the power in this hook as it lands for the knockout. And let's see that again. Boom! And that is all she wrote.
So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano calls a stop to this contest at three minutes, seven seconds of the very first round. To play the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Kimba So there is the man they are all still chasing in the UFC heavyweight champion, the undisputed king of the big boys, getting it done here tonight by way of the knockout. And his corner is absolutely thrilled with the effort and the result here tonight. He was measured, and when there was an opportunity to seize the finish, he certainly steamrolled right through it. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion. Greatness is a feat chased by many, but achieved by few in the UFC. To get there, it takes more than talent and skill. To be great, it also takes heart, determination, the willingness to fight the best, and the ability to beat them. He's a legend, a big, big staple in the sport and a pioneer in MMA. Over the course of his UFC career, this fighter has done that and more, taking the sport to a new level in the process. He's been a world champion in multiple weight classes. He's made a ton of money and he's achieved everything he'd ever wanted. There is no question that he is the greatest of all time.